Hi guys, welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So I didn't go to the boot sale today because it did look like this early this morning it was going to rain. However, it held off. Uh, so I may have missed out. However, I've had a really good day at the charity shops from the weekend. And I popped out today during my lunch break and picked up some really good bits and pieces. And as you guys know, I speak about it quite a few times. The guys in the charity shops, they will allow me to go out to the back or look in the stock rooms and just look at the piles of DVDs, games that they've got in at the moment and just let me go for them. Uh, what I tend to do is I sort them into piles from, so I put all the CDs in one pile, DVDs, Blu-rays, and then I'll just make a pile of goods that I'll say, look, this can go straight on the shop floor. You guys are easily get a couple of quid each piece that I put aside. And by doing that, they let me have kind of first dibs going through the stuff and then I'll buy that stuff from them. Uh, so I'm going to roll on with a short little clip, and I mean this clip's about, guys, 10 seconds. Because uh, I thought, right, I wanted, I wanted to get a little clip in there just to make it look like you guys can see... You know, some of the back areas, some of the cupboards they let me go through where they just stock up with goods. Uh, so, yeah, look at that. And then I come back and I show you the pickups from that little section where I went through at the charity shop. So, literally 10 seconds, guys. Just take a look at it right now. So guys, a very short clip. You would have seen there was so much in there in terms of DVDs, games. And to be fair, that little cupboard that they usually let me go through is usually halfway full. So I'm having to pull out a lot of stuff, go through it. And sometimes I just don't have the time. Because again, I only have like 45 minutes to an hour break uh, in terms of lunch and just getting out. So uh, yeah, thankfully it wasn't that much in there. But uh, yeah, went through a few bits and I've seen some Nintendo Wii games just scattered. And I thought, right, I'm going to make a little pile. And then I saw this... Uh, I saw a DVD box first, to be fair, which I moved off the Nike shoe box. Uh, and had a few DVDs in there, uh, Blu-rays, uh, some that I put aside and I made a little pile. And then all of a sudden, I opened that Nike shoe box and it was like, whoa, okay, a mini jackpot here in terms of there's a lot of Nintendo Wii games there. Uh, started going through them, asked them about prices. They said everything in there was a pound. Uh, so I was like, right, okay. If you're happy with that, I'm going to pick up some few bits, and there's quite a few bits I want. And then, I, no, help yourself, because I'll either be going onto the shop floor and selling. Anything you leave and you think we could get uh, get a pound for on the shop floor, can you leave for us? Because otherwise, what they tend to do, they were telling, telling me, is that they just put it into a box and they ship it to another charity shop. Same brand charity shop, but they just ship it to another one, because their DVD racks are full. I thought they would have rotated their stock with taking off the stock that's not selling and just put on new stock, but they don't do that. They said what they tend to do with this stock that's out the back, it'll just go in a big box and go to another charity shop, same brand, to uh, sell. So it's quite a shop like that. So they like, just take what you want. Uh, and by doing that, I went through, I took what I want. And guys will go through it in a little bit of detail. But I did make them a little shoe box and said, look, guys, don't ship this stuff out. You know, try and fit it on the shelf because there was a lot of Nintendo games there. Uh, so I'll show you the stack i got here. And guys, the funny bit was, so they wanted a pound each for all this stuff. Uh, and it should have come to £22. What they ended up doing, and I'm going to show you this receipt, and I was very honest with it as well. So, uh, just cover my card details. Yes. So they ended up charging me 10p. So it come to £2.20. Uh, so I paid the £2.20 because I paid my card. They, I was too busy going through the disc and I just tapped my card. It weren't until I got to the car and I realised they charged me £2.20. Now, some of you might say, Excellent, that's a massive score for what I'm about to show you. Uh, my conscience didn't sit well with me, to be fair, because it is a charity shop as well, and these guys are not as educated as when you go to boot sales. The guys know what they've got, you know, even if they're selling it for 10p, 20p, they know what they got and they know what they're selling, uh, or they just want to get rid of it. With the charity shops, they are trying to make money, it goes to good causes. So once I saw that I only paid £2.20, I went back in the shop and I gave them a £20 note, uh, which I had in my wallet, but I didn't want to spend because I like to keep like money until the weekends when i go to the boot sales that i can change up uh so yeah i gave them 20 pounds uh so they charged my card two pounds so 22 pound in all because they charged my card two pound 20 and then i went in there and give the 20 pound cash because you know these charity shops like i said they're a good cause and the the charity shop i was in which is saint christopher's does a lot of stuff for cancer in terms of uh it's like end of life care and i've had a couple of family members that have been in there so you know it's not anything I can do to help those kind of charities. I definitely would. So, you know, ended up buying this stuff from. Uh, they're not really... I've tried to talk to them before about, you know, the, the sell-on value and about putting stuff online, but they're not interested in doing that. They said they get so much in terms of donations. They just want to sift through it, 
get it out and get new stuff in and out. And if anything, they, like I said, if they've got bulk of stuff, they just ship it to another store, which I just found balmy uh, for how much it goes, for how much you can get for the charities. But I, I guess if that's how they want to do it, I'm, I'm not to argue with them. And they were quite firm in terms of telling me that's the way they do it and they wouldn't do it any other way. It's just easier for the people because their staff turn over quite a lot in terms of the people that have come in and going. So anyway, enough of that. I was happy with the fines that I found. I uh, did go in there and give them uh, 20 quid as well because they obviously mucked up the receipt charging me £2.20 when it should have been 20 quid. Uh, so yeah, so let's go through what I found first and then I've got a little other bit. So firstly, before, so guys, before I they said, look, go and take a look at the back, I only found two bits on the shelf for £1 each. I found Gran Turismo, sorry, not Gran Turismo, Gran Theft Auto. They had Gran Turismo there, but I left it. Gran Theft Auto, San Andreas for £1 on PlayStation 2. All Dogs Go to Heaven, which I remember, and it's sealed. And I always pick up the sealed discs. Uh, so yeah, pick that up. That was £2. So then when I've gone and looked in this little cupboard, which you would have seen the short clip, the game that was on the floor straight away, and I was like, ah, I need Simpsons. As you guys would have known in the past, I brought the case with no disc. Uh, this has got the disc, and it was £1. So pick that up. Then I started going through some of the DVDs before I come to the games. And there was a couple of Blu-rays there. And it was funny enough, because I was saying the other night that I really want to get some more of my Marvel Blu-rays. And I don't have the Spider-Man because I'm quite fussy in terms of what's made by Marvel Studios and what's made by Sony. It sounds barmy, sounds silly, but I've, I've kind of kept off uh, buying the Spider-Man Far From Home and uh, Homecoming. Uh, weirdly enough, I don't know, maybe it's just a comic collector in me or maybe I'm just being a bit silly. Uh, but I, I just thought, oh, I need to pick them up. I want them. They go have the set and it tells the story in terms of the different phases. Uh, and funny enough, there was Spider-Man Far From Home in there and it was sealed. So for this Blu-ray, they wanted £2 though. Everything else was a pound apart from this Blu-ray because uh, it was sealed and they said, look, do you mind doing £2 for it? I'm happy to pay £2 for it. I need it. I want it. So that was the only one that cost me £2. Uh well, it didn't really, actually, it did cost a pound because I gave him the 20 quid and only charged me two pound 20. So really, I should have given him 21 pound. Anyway, originally I wanted two pound. It was a, it's a pound. Right, it's baffling as it sounds. Then I got onto, I saw this Blu-ray there. Have no idea what it's about, the Killing Trilogy. It doesn't even explain anything on the box apart from it's, it's an award-winning best crime series in the world. Absolute no idea, but all the discs are in there. Uh, don't even know what the value is for it. Couldn't find anything about it as I was going through bits and pieces. So I mostly need to do a bit of work. But yeah, pick that up. That was a quid. Didn't even know this was out on Blu-ray. Definitely picking this up. Childhood all the way. So Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. The original and the better one. Uh, so pick that up. And then Asterix sealed. So I haven't seen this. And I guess this was the new one that came out about two years ago maybe. So I picked that up. That was a quid. And then these two were a pound as well. So you had ACDC... No, no ball. Yeah, no ball. So that's a concert one, and I, and I tend to pick up these music ones when I see them. I know they've got quite a good sell-on value, uh, so I always pick them up when I see them. I've picked up loads in the past, and I've got a few that I want to bundle up. Uh, so I like Bon Jovi. I think Take That's even in there. U2. Uh, yeah, there's loads. I've got quite a few rock ones as well, and then you've got AD, ADDC, uh, which is live as well. So this is a separate DVD. I or I think this one may have. No, they're both separate DVDs, actually. Both separate DVDs. I thought they might have been in a box set or something, but no, both separate. They've got barcodes on. So it's happy of ADDC. And then, guys, the ones you would have seen in terms of the Wii games, which is just phenomenal to see them in there. And I couldn't believe they just wanted a pound, you know. Uh, but if that's what they want, you know, that's what I gave them for them. So you had Mario Kart, which is all complete. And, guys, you would have seen from the Mario Kart that I brought the box from Computer Exchange last week in the charity shop pickup so now i have a mario kart to go in there which now boosts this up from being worth i think it's like eight pound or ten pound to 28 pound because it's got the wheel and the box and the instructions so i'm really happy with that and it gets better as we go on uh pick this up because i haven't seen this before so wacky world of sports again a pound uh harry potter and the half-blooded prince so i think i need this for my collection i need to just check because i've got so many games but yeah i'm hoping i need that for the collection then, guys, I saw it again, another Mario Kart. And the, the reason I picked this up, and people might think, oh, he's being greedy, he should have left it in there, is because I'm always finding the boxes with the steering wheel, and I've passed up on loads of them missing the game. So I've currently got two over there, and some of you might even say you need two. I'd like to get four, to be fair. 
don't know why I just like the even numbers and uh, four steering wheels as well. Uh, and a lot of mates, all whenever they buy a Wii, they want a steering wheel with Mario, and I'd definitely help them out. Uh, so yeah, another Mario Kart, which you don't see that often that there's two. So I'm assuming because it was in the same kind of box that there's either some siblings or brothers and they both had a Nintendo. I'm, I'm only make, making this up as I go, and I'm assuming they just had a Mario Kart each. Or they brought the wheel when it come with Mario Kart, so they had two. Then I saw Super Smash Brothers. So now you're thinking you got two Mario Kart, Super Smash Brothers. Could have done with some Zelda games in there, but there was none there at all. Uh, Sonic Unleash, which I got. And then, guys, I've been needing the Super Mario case for my two Super Mario discs. However, this one's got the Mario disc in there, which is still good. I'm still happy with this. Now I've got two empty Mario games, though. Uh, so I still need to get two cases. So he's happy with them for a pound each. Uh, I did leave quite a few Nintendo games. And people say, oh, you took the desirable ones. Uh, well, I left the sports... Uh, oh, what is it? The sports deluxe version in the case, which I didn't didn't need. I left the sports in the cardboard because uh, I've got a few of those already. I definitely left all the Skylanders. And some of those were sealed. Because uh, I said they'd get good money from in the shop. And I left like the party games, the carnival, because I've got them. I only want one of those. It's more the Mario Karts because when I've got systems and my friends want it, they just want Mario or Mario Kart. Uh, so yeah, I definitely just wanted to pick those up. But yeah, I left a lot of games there. And no doubt I'll go in there again next week. And I believe they'll be gone by the weekend because I've brought them all out in a shoebox for it, a massive shoebox and just stocked them up with the Nintendo Wii games that were there. And there were there was a lot left. Uh, Wally, Batman, Lego. Uh, I think there was another Harry Potter, Last of the Airbenders. There, there was loads there. Uh, but yeah, I don't need them. I have them. I've told them to put them out on the shelf. You know, they said they're doing a pound each because I told them to put two pound. They're like, we're doing a pound each. I said, right, just put them on the shelf. Don't even put a price on them. Just put them on. People will pick them up. And then I sorted them out a load of Disney DVDs like Frozen 1, Frozen 2 and said, just put them on because they sell their DVDs free for a pound and they'll definitely go. The other games that were there then, then you had, I know it doesn't go for much, but it's sealed. Call of Duty uh, Ghosts for Xbox 360. So strangely enough to see these sealed games all the time from the same charity shop. Uh, as I've picked up some Minecrafts and other bits and pieces in the past. So I picked that up. I don't have on PlayStation 2 at the moment, Star Wars, Racer, Revenge. So yeah, I don't really see this this often. Some of the PlayStation games in there I haven't seen like in a long time. And the next one I definitely haven't seen before. So I picked that up. Don't fit. I think I need that as well. And I've got quite a huge collection of PlayStation 2 games now going on. Haven't seen this one before, so I picked it up because I know I need it. Shrek Super Party. And then I wasn't too sure if I have this or not. So I need to go through my collections. And I don't think I have. Looking at the moment, the ones that I can just see. So I've got the Twin Sanity one here. And I know I've got the rest of the Crash Bandicoots up here. But yeah, had the uh, this Crash Bandicoot there again. This, everything looks correct. Everything's there. So it's happy to pick it up. So that was all one pound each, guys. So I was really happy with that pile uh, from the charity shop today. Absolute fantastic scores. And I don't even think I would have done that well at a boot sale uh, today. I know I had a good week last week, but weather permitted, I think that's a fantastic uh, find. And the reason, guys, I did go back, they, as you saw, they charged me the £2.20. You know, as soon as I saw that in the car, because I did tap, I wasn't paying attention. The lady done it all up, and I, I honestly thought she'd charged me 20 or £22. So I just tapped my card. And when I got to the car, and I was like, oh, I couldn't believe what I've got. I was really happy with it. And then I always look at my receipts before I throw them in the bin, and I thought, I thought I'm going to show you guys anyway. But when I saw the £2.20, I was like, oh, I can't, I, I just can't, can't be doing that. It would have been a massive score for paying £2.20. 20 for all of that uh 20 quid still fine uh so yeah i had to go back one because it's the right thing to do because of the charity and yeah i did feel guilty about it and then two the fact they let me go out and they trust me and i'm allowed out to the back they allow me to go for all this stuff and they allow me to pick all the bits i want you know they, they know it's good stuff because they're always like look you just have to give us a pound each we're just thankful you can get bits and pieces out for us and you know take that because this would be going to another shop it wouldn't even stay in their shop uh so yeah so i was really happy with that and yeah it was the right thing to do in my eyes so i've done that and then guys some of the other charity shop pickups not from this one so this was all from the one charity shop that i go and they let me out the back so oh wow there's quite a bit here so this was from the other charity shops from the weekend uh and i got some books but i'll go through these first so yeah so i went to one charity shop and they had all four diehards three pounds on blu-ray uh I need that for my own collection, so that's going in my collection. You know I'm a movie buff already. 
And then these ones, not too sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but they were free for a pound on these. Uh, so yes, and there are the free for a pound. So we will go through those next. So this charity shop, this is where I get a lot of my books from, man. DVDs are free for a pound. Uh, the books, to be fair, there was a lot of children in there going through the books. And you know what? I'm not going to buy any books over children. I think it's much better if children buy these books. They learn from it, the imagination, ev everything that just goes with reading a book and bringing everything to life uh, for them in terms of their imagination. So, yeah, I stayed away from the books. The kids brought absolutely loads of there. There were some good ones there as well, which I mostly picked up. But if I'm in there and I see children going through that kind of stuff, that's that's for them. I'd rather those the children buy that stuff versus me either sitting on it or trying to resell it. Uh, so I didn't get any books from this charity shop where I got the DVDs from because, yeah, rightly so, they should have first pick on that. Uh, but I did buy some DVDs. So the first three for a pound, and you would have seen last week, guys, I brought police a couple of police canomies. And I did think they must have come out of the police canomy box set, but I couldn't find the other three. Lo and behold, I went back and the other three were there. So I've now got the full set of police canomy on DVD. Uh, I'm really happy with this. I know you can get them on Blu-ray, but I'm just happy to have them on DVD or any kind of... Uh, media device so yeah happy with that and then the next three I picked up so I picked up Superman Red Sun which I haven't seen but I thought I'd pick that up and I don't even know what the sell on value is on that but picked up and I always tend to pick up the comic related DVDs because you look at uh, the games in terms of any super any Lego stuff it does really well if I, as a uh, reselling piece so I always pick up the DVDs when I see it so I picked up that one and then I thought this was a cartoon to begin with but it's not it's actually the Crisis on Infinity Earth crossover which is a tv one so that was uh so these so far you know free which is the last one's coming up for a pound uh so i think i've done well on them and then i couldn't find anything else i wanted and i just looked for the, whatever was sealed and the only thing that was sealed was scandal uh season one which i don't even know what it trades for or what you can get for it but it is sealed someone might want it out there uh so i picked up as part of the free for one pound as well but really happy with these two and then added that one in as well as a extra in the same charity shop, guys. So that strangely enough, their games are not on the free for one pound, and they are just one pound each, like normal charity shops. So I did go through and I picked up. Uh, I believe this is neat. Yeah, Need for Speed Shift to Unleash. And then oh, I did pick up a Gran Turismo Five. So that might be why I didn't pick it up today because I thought I already had a Gran Turismo. So yeah, so I picked those two up for one pound at the same charity shop. So you can see it's another Saint Christopher's. Uh, and like I say, guys, that it seems with the St. Christopher's charity shops that they do shuffle around stock. Because the one I was in where I got the DVDs from, uh, they said that they are an outlet just for getting all books in. And you could see by the children's books that there was loads of children in there with their parents. And they were just picking up loads of books. So it's strange It's strange that my charity shop, they had all these decent games in that's quite local to me, ended up saying that they'd end up going to another charity shop. So I'm, I'm really not too sure what they do in terms of internally with their charity shops and how they move stock around. But it's down to them how they want to do it. I'm just glad that I found this stuff. And then in the same charity shop in the window, and I don't know the value. I've not even seen this TV show. And it was one that I was thinking, right, with lockdown still and the whole working from home, not having much to do over the weekends or in the evenings, I've been watching a lot more television, especially box sets on Netflix. Uh, so I've watched all of the Big Bang, watched all of Prison Break. I've just watched... And I hope I get this right. So I've literally watched episode 10. And I thought it was absolutely amazing. And I don't know why I didn't watch it when it first came out. It was Haunting on Hill House, I believe. And I think there's another season coming out. But it's named something else in September. So I wanted to catch up. And it, I just thought it was mind-blowing. Some people might not think that. But I thought, ah, oh, it's clever how they've put that whole piece and that series together. So I really enjoyed it and literally just finished that. But however, I picked this up, which is How I Met Your Mother. And it is season one to eight. It's all complete. Uh, it, it's a beast of a box set, uh, you guys can tell by there. And yeah, three pounds. So uh, yeah, happy with that. Don't know what it trades for, but mostly watch that. And then the other charity shop I went to again was a Saint Christopher's. So guys, I've got all these Saint Christophers around me. There must be, I want to say, within driving within a couple of miles, there must be at least seven or eight. Uh, but I went to another one, and they were doing free DVDs for a pound. But you can mix with games. Uh, so I found two DVDs I wanted which was Cable Guy, because I don't have that currently, but I may have it on Blu-ray, so I need to check if I have. I will just uh, give this to a friend, because a lot of my friends love the Cable Guy. Such a funny uh, movie from Jim Carrey. And then I found Archer, which is part of the three for one pound. So season one, which is all in there. Never seen Archer. Uh, I've always been told to give it a watch. So I may give it a watch now that I've got the season one there. 
And then because there was nothing else I could find, I just thought, right, I'm just going to pick up this PS game to go with it. Uh, it's all in the International Athletics. I don't know if it's any good, but that's part of the one for £3. And then the last charity shop I went into, which was Scope, and they're a little bit more expensive in terms of what they sell per game for. But I've been asking the lady in there for ages, have you got any games? And she did say to me, look, when I get them in, I'll put them aside. And then when you come in, I'll show you first and I'll put them out. So she'd done that. And sometimes when you do it and you don't find anything, I feel quite guilty that I've made them or they've held it for me. So I end up trying to buy either one or two. And the only two I saw that were there was, uh, and they were asking £2 per game. Uh, which isn't bad, you know, they can charge what they want, it all goes to a good cause. So it's Marvel Alliance and PlayStation 2, so I picked that up. And then this one I can't even pronounce, but I can pronounce Samurai's Destiny 2. Uh, so yeah, picked that up for £2 as well. And then in their DVDs, they had the Spider-Man 1 and 2 uh, sealed DVDs for a pound. So I just picked that up as well, because that might do someone good if, uh, when I come on to reselling some of these bits and pieces, if they want it, especially going into Christmas this year. Uh, so yeah guys so from a charity shop point of view i've still got books i've not finished yet so guys the first book so i've gone a little bit of a challenge now where i go and buy these osborne books and buying different uh bits and pieces where books where i feel either brings back some kind of childhood memory to me or there is a value to them what i've started to pick up now i see all the time harry potter books everywhere so every charity shop I go into and I thought, you know what, right, I'm going to try and get the first uh, editions of the Harry Potter books. going to try and do it. I'm not going to find the Philosopher's Stone. I'm not going to find mostly Chambers of Secrets. I'm not had. I'm not going to find those because they're mostly worth in the hundreds of thousands, I would have thought, if they're first prints. However, the later ones, uh, Half-Blooded Prince, Deadly Hollows, I'm going to, and uh, Rise, is it Rise of the Phoenix? Someone's going to correct me on that and going to be really mad that if I've got that wrong. Uh, but yeah, I thought, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just start picking up these Harry Potter books where they are Order of the Phoenix. There you go. Goblet of Fire, Prisoner of Azkaban. So where I see these and then the first print, I'm going to start picking them up because I've noticed on eBay as well and any other reselling uh, sites, you go onto Amazon, that the price of the first editions is starting to step up. And I know they've always had a high value anyway, but the later books are starting to pick up as well. And as you guys know, I always look inside just to see if any are signed because I know for a fact she was signing some of these at midnight uh, when she was doing reading with children. So I always check just to see if any are signed. And I've noticed, especially with her last book, which was the Tales, the blue book. I've forgotten what one it is. But she signed a load of those and she put a hologram in the corner. So if you ever see those, definitely worth checking those out because she signed a hell of a lot of those ones. Uh, but yeah, not yet come across that. But yeah, definitely found that. First edition. So I picked that up for, that was £3. I think at the moment it's mostly selling for 10 to 15 So I was happy with that. Then I went into another charity shop, uh, which was doing free for £1 on books. And I'm a comic man. I do like my comics. Got quite a few of the first Bongo uh, Simpson comics, but I, don't, I tend not to do, get really into the graphic novels. I think they're by Titan as well, aren't they? Um, yeah, Titan Books. So yeah, so I know these, you know, you get these anywhere. Prices vary, they can go from anywhere. But yeah, three for one pound. And guys, as you can see, they're all just, uh, yeah, Simpson. Sim they're reprints of the Simpson comics. I'm happy with them. There's one that, so this one here I was quite happy with as well because it's part of the one three pound, which is the Simpson comics. So, and then you've got stuff in this one, you know, Radioactive Man. Uh, so this has got more of the Itchy and Scratchy Radioactive Man, which were the first comics that come out with the Simpsons. So definitely pick that up. And then the other one that come on, because you'll notice there's four books there, so I had to choose another two. Uh, so I chose The Story of London. These are always handy for children as well. I've just give them out on nieces, nephews, cousins. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's so much detail and information about London in terms of the history of London, the history of the city, everything around it, St Paul's. And I just thought, you know what? That's Some little kid's going to love that, so... No doubt I'll give that to someone's child, niece, nephew, cousin. Uh, they have that and they'll have great fun with that. And the same with this book, because uh, you've got a lot of nieces and nephews at the moment. So the Griffolo uh, magnetic book. So this was in the free for £1 as well. And yeah, you've got the little magnetic bits. Never been open. And you just stick them on. And again, it's the imagination. So if I ever see these, I'm always thinking of other people. And like, you know, who will appreciate this in terms of family, friends who have got children. And they can have these if they want them. Uh, so yeah, pick those up and so all of those guys, £2, which I'm happy with and no doubt some of those will go to good homes. 
Uh, and then the other one I picked up, so these books were 50p each, and I start off with this one, so I thought this had more of a value because I know it's a book by Madonna, I didn't do enough research on it. I just picked it up, so it's called The English Roses by Madonna. I thought, right, because I remember this was her first book, it was getting a lot of hype. Uh, it's very detailed, very detailed. Really nice art as well. Uh, so a lot of full energy and mostly money's gone into that book. But yeah, for 50p, uh, I picked that up. And again, someone may want that. These ones are staying with me. These bring me back to my childhood. And I'm surprised to see them in such good condition in a charity shop for 50p. Let's check the year on these as well just to make sure. But I'm more than certain 100. Yep. Yeah, so... Yeah, so this is so it was first published in 1985. This edition is the 1988. So yes, interesting enough. But I remember these, and these remember. I always remember looking at these, and they were so interesting in terms of puzzle books. And it used to remind me a little bit of heavy metal. And maybe I shouldn't have been watching that as young as what I did. Uh, but it kind of just brings this new world to life, and it gets using your imagination and playing the games that are in there. But I believe there was four books in this series. So you got The Planet of Terror, which is this one. You had The Castle of Fear, The Jungle of Peril, and The Funfair of Evil. Uh, so there's four books. I picked up two of them 50p each. I'm really happy with these guys. Really happy. Because this was like, you know, look at this for instance. You are, you are choosing, you are making your own journey, choosing your own destiny in terms of, as a young child, getting through this maze and choosing what page you want to go to. So, for instance, here, right, if I get here, I turn to page 28. If I get here, I turn to page 30. So, let's say I go to page 30. What adventure am I on now? And it's always throwing you back and forth. So, now you're here. So, it says here, you find the you find a jellyoid blob lying in your path. You get through the maze. So, you have to choose the tube, get through. And it either says turn to page 38. or Yeah, you guys get where I'm going with this. So, these were massive in terms of my imagination as a youngster and bringing everything to life and getting me to choose, make my own choices. Uh, but yeah, in the jungle peril here. So, there's, there is two missing that I need to. I don't even know if I find them, to be fair. Don't see these these often. But yeah, brilliant books. Picked them up. And then that's it, guys. In terms of books, DVDs, games, I think I've had an absolute brilliant week and result in terms of my charity shop pickups. Uh, there's definitely a lot more value in what I picked up on the Nintendo Wii games alone really happy with that definitely still building those relationships with the guys in the charity shops and understanding uh what they do in terms of their stock rotation uh, when they get goods in but just being allowed to look through the stock enough is uh i'm very humbled by that and the fact that they give me enough trust uh to do that uh so i help them out where i can uh, some people say oh you're taking all the good stuff i don't tend to think that i'm doing that if it's going to go to another shop and we just don't know what happened to it from there or if they're going to put it out at a pound anyway on the shop floor you know i would more than likely pick it up uh so yeah so really happy with my pickups guys uh let me know in the comments how you think i've done uh but yeah hope you enjoyed this video and guys i have got a live hopefully this i'm putting this video up tonight wednesday uh and if you're watching this definitely tune over into a youtuber if you don't already watch him uh, well known within the toy community is bizarre bizarro's pieces so i'm doing a live chat with bizarro's pieces tom uh, tomorrow 8 till 9 on his channel so you have to uh, search Bizarro's pieces it'll come up it'll be a live chat but guys definitely tune in definitely watch that I think it'll be a lot of fun and it's more uh, me and Tom having a discussion I think he wants to know take my take on one how I'm getting on with YouTubing as I'm very new into it still a month and uh, around toy collecting what's got me into toys what am, what am I collecting at the moment as you guys can see I've kind of tried uh, try to change the setup a little bit so you're seeing more of the toys behind me but just to go into a little background i guess a sneak preview for you guys this isn't just one shot i do not have enough space for my toys so everything you look behind i'm gonna be very gentle here so you've got look you've got a boomer from left to dead there uh behind the neck are uh duke nukem you've got mighty max and what's behind mighty max luigi from mario and then you've got nelson from simpsons it's just Every, there's di every different toy make you've got behind these shelves. I don't think we're going to that much detail, but I think he'd be quite amazed with what I've actually got. You know, I've got some Ninja Turtles behind there, the originals, uh, behind Space Jam figures. You know, you've got Dark Side from the Super Power Collection uh, from the 70s. So there's uh, definitely a lot of toys. It'd definitely be some good fun. And you'll definitely hear some stories about how I got into toys and I guess how it launched everything else that I'm into and hopefully start to kind of tread a little bit on the reselling piece we'll see how that goes but 
if anything, I've been a more of a collector and just buying in bulk. Some might call it hoarding. Uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Uh, but yeah, definitely some fantastic pieces. Uh, no doubt I'll pick this up and go through because there's an interesting story for the Castle of Greyskull, which is boxed and I've wrapped it up with some uh, clean fill. Uh, so there's an interesting story behind that, which uh, Tom knows about. And I might share tomorrow on tomorrow's uh, little live chat, but it, it did not cost me much at all compared to how much they go to. And that was picked up literally at the back end of last year at Sandown Toy Fair. Uh, so yeah guys hope you enjoy i'm not going to go on too much now i'll save it for tomorrow's talk when i go through that with tom but hope you enjoyed this video guys please like please subscribe if you already have or if you're watching for the first time thank you very much uh yeah this means the world for me doing this kind of stuff guys i love it myself i'm a collector i'm a fan i'm a huge fanboy of all this kind of stuff pulp cop pulp uh pop culture so bringing you guys on a journey and you guys actually liking it and enjoying it means the absolute world for me and it just means that there's more of us out there uh, and i hope if anything i can ex uh, inspire some of you to do your own youtube channel or you know just go just go and do it get yourself a gopro get yourself a laptop and if you've already got it there's nothing stopping you you know the people out there are very uh, no one's going to shout at you for filming no one's going to have a go everyone's quite intrigued and interested i've had a couple of bad experience but the, the positive experience massively outweigh any negative comments, anything negative you're going to get from people who are saying, oh, he's got a camera, you know, so definitely go out and do it. Don't be put off by it, you know. So, yeah, I'll leave you with that, guys. But, yeah, definitely please tick that thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, much appreciated. And I will see you this Sunday where I'm going to do another live boot sale video. And then I will see about Bank Holiday Monday because I know we've got, there's a few boot sales on Bank Holiday Monday. But guys, hope you enjoyed. Definitely stay tuned. And if you are not doing anything Thursday, 8 till 9, Bizarro's Pieces, definitely check out the live chat. You guys, it'll be interactive as well. So you guys can ask questions, which will pop up on the screen. So definitely, if you want to ask me any questions, that's the time to do it. So guys, thanks a lot for your time. Have a lovely week. And I'll see you again Sunday. Take care.